I just found out my wife didn't tell me she had cancer while I was divorcing her to not guilt me into staying. When I met my wife, she was a vibrant, intelligent, caring woman. She would give you the shirt off her back if you asked. We spent hours and hours together talking about everything and anything, but those moments slowly started to dwindle. She would come home from work, crawl immediately into bed, and watch TikToks for the next three hours. She wouldn't engage, would barely do anything, and only did chores sometimes, and she ended up paying for someone to do her share. She would always say she's tired and then stay up all night or sometimes sleep for 18 hours. It was awful to see her glued to her phone or her computer instead of engaging with me. I couldn't take it any longer, so I asked if we could take some time apart. It was really hard because she cried and begged me not to, and I still loved her, but being with her was like a flashback to my parents. We both knew that separations basically always end in divorce. An old friend of my wife's recently reached out to me and cussed me out. She told me that my wife had cancer, and how dare I leave her during a tough time. I had no idea she had cancer. I asked my wife why she hid it from me, and she said that I was divorcing her, and she didn't want to guilt trip me into staying or manipulating me. I asked her how long she had known, and she said she found out three weeks after we separated. I told her she should have told me. I noticed her hair seemed thinner, and she just seemed frailer overall, but she brushed it off as stress. Honestly, I'm really upset that she didn't tell me. Do I have a right to be? Edit. Only now did her hair start to thin, and she looked weak, she looked obviously ill. For three years before that, she wouldn't get out of bed and alternately sleep through the weekend and stay up on weekdays. I did all of the chores, but she felt guilty and hired a housekeeper for cleaning, and I did. All of the cooking. What I saw was a profound disinterest in myself. She didn't want to do anything with me. She wouldn't go on a walk with me or go out in general. She wouldn't read a book, she'd just lie in bed watching TikToks. Her daily screen time was 14-16 hours. I made doctor's appointments, I cooked food, I tried to get her up. At some point, she just wouldn't even entertain going to the doctor. After years of her telling me that there was nothing wrong with her, doctors saying she was lazy, lab tests showing no issues, and her still lying in bed, I was tired. If we had known that her body was shutting down, of course, I wouldn't have left. I just wish she had actually gone to the appointments I had set up before I asked for a separation. Update 1. I talked to my wife. I called her and asked if she wanted to talk, and she said okay. When I came over, I noticed that nobody had been over in at least a few weeks. My wife is a clean person, so there wasn't a mess, but it was clear that she was doing it on her own. I apologized for everything. Then, I asked her why she didn't tell me about the cancer. She said that she felt guilty because she thought we would go through all the effort only to find out she was just lazy, and that I would then resent her. She thought that when we separated, she could just go to a few appointments to show she was physically fine but try to change on her own at home to stop being lazy. But then she found out that she had cancer. She felt really bad because she hadn't gone to any of the appointments I had made. She felt guilty because she knew I would come back if I knew, and she didn't want me to sacrifice for her when she had dismissed my concerns for years. She sobbed and said that she really felt like she was just being lazy and tired like before. I asked her what she was talking about. A few times during school, she had these intense periods of being really tired and unable to get out of bed. Her parents took her to a doctor, but there was nothing wrong. It wasn't caused by anxiety, and she didn't feel depressed, just incredibly physically tired. Her parents and doctor dismissed it as laziness. I said it didn't sound like laziness, it sounded like a real medical issue. I'm going to help her figure it out, but to me, it sounded like an autoimmune disease or flare-up. I told her that I always believed her. I believed her when she said she was just lazy after three years of trying to get her to a doctor, and I would have believed her if she had been honest with me and told me about what she went through as a kid. She just kept sobbing. I comforted her, and after she cried, I checked her fridge for food. There were only a couple of things in the fridge, including some frozen food I had dropped off before. I asked if she wanted me to go grocery shopping or come over to my apartment for some food. She chose my apartment. I grabbed a few things for her, and I took a laundry basket of dirty clothes to wash. At my apartment, I drew her a bath and cooked dinner for us. She didn't have any clean pajamas, so she wore mine. We had dinner, and she just kept saying, thank you, and I told her she didn't have to thank me. She's my wife, of course, I'll take care of her through cancer. She said she made me do all of the chores before too, and she didn't want me to go through that again. I told her that she was sick and tired, and I can do everything again if she stays honest with me about how she feels and doesn't dismiss it as her being lazy. We ended up cuddling, and she fell asleep pretty quickly. She's been asleep and awake through today and yesterday, and she's been a bit clingy to me, but she looks a lot more comfortable. She's probably going to stay in my apartment, so we'll have to figure out how to break the lease on hers. I'm not going to divorce or abandon her, she needs a lot of support, and I'll be there for her.